when the opportunity arose for the World Cinema Project to restore Redis, I was very excited because here was a picture I'd never seen, a collaboration between three major artists, Paul Strand, one of the greatest of all American photographers, the director Fred Zinneman, and the composer Silvestre Rebueltas, whose work I really didn't know. This was my first exposure. The picture resulted from an extremely particular set of circumstances. First of all, it was made in Mexico as an official state-sponsored project during the most socially progressive period in the country's history. Now, Strand brought his camera eye and his fervent belief in the ideals of the revolution. Zinneman brought his tremendous sensitivity with actors with the help of the Mexican director Emilio Gomez Muriel and his training with the great documentary pioneer Robert Flaherty. And with his score, Ray Bueltas gave the film a terrific majesty and grandeur. Now, these artists didn't always see eye to eye, but the final result was a very special film that actually foreshadows Italian neorealism, in particular, Visconti's La Terra Trema. It's always great to see something unknown and unexpected, and that's one of the joys of film history. And that's what happened here with Redis.